Good Friday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Guess what? It's soup time. My mouth is craving soup today. It's Friday afternoon. I don't feel the greatest. I'm not 150%. I'm about uh, operating about 110. But you know how you have a taste for something, so I need me some good old creamy rich soup with some veggies in it. So I've decided I'm going to make some turkey potato soup. Now, normally I do chicken potato soup, but I got me some ground turkey going on here, so I'm going to brown that ground turkey up, and it's going to be potato soup when it ends up. So, here I've got in my red pot, I'm going to use this for my soup pot today, so here it goes, real time, I'm grounding up the, uh, I've already, uh, I mean, I'm brown, not grounding up, but I'm browning up, I've already ground up my, uh, some celery, some onions, and carrots to go in there, those are my veggies. And if I get real enthusiastic, I might throw a little bit of broccoli in there. I'm just going to think about it a minute or two. I'm, I'm sort of calling on my taste buds and my palate right now to see if that's what I want to go in there. But that's all ground carrots. That is um, some baby carrots. I got one one large onion, uh, two large stalks of celery, and uh, one cup of carrots ground up. I'm just gonna, what I'm doing here, just getting it all, everything sort of sauteed up there together. And then I'm going to start putting in um, the liquid, which will be some, I'm going to use, because I want all the flavor there, I'm going to use these Food Lion containers of chicken broth. There are eight, there are four cups in here, so this recipe calls for four cups. I got my camera zoomed out so far it's looking really big. But anyway, I'm going to use this uh, Shore Lunch Creamy Potato Soup. It's supposed to make eight cups of soup. But by the time I get done with it, it'll be far more than eight because I'm putting, I'm adding a pound of uh, ground turkey and that one large onion and two large stalks of celery ground up. I'm just going to brown it up here and sort of saute it and get it all ready for the liquid and before I put the liquid in of course y'all know I'm going to season that up really good because I like my food highly seasoned and by the way I started this out uh, sauteing with some uh, New Balance or some butter um, I'm going to add just one packet because I've got the, the uh, chicken broth going in I'm going to be putting one pack of this Nor sodium free herb box chicken uh, powder chicken broth mix we put one of those in there and of course you don't want to dash some complete seasoning and then some uh, garlic not garlic powder but uh, black pepper I'm going to add that to it oh this smells so good I'm going to put about a teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning in there and the reason I'm not putting a lot in there is because that potato soup mix is already seasoned and we don't want to get too much going on. So I think I've got about six cups of um, of chicken broth because I used one cup yesterday for something else. So we just gonna, and I'm, I'm going to leave this uh, ground turkey kind of chunky so it can really taste. So it'll be nice and meaty. So it's going to be a creamy. Uh, type of veggie soup, not putting any tomatoes in it. So I'm going to leave the chunks probably about like that. I'm using my spatula because I want to kind of chop it up right, like so. Okay, so this is going to let this do like this for about five minutes to get everything all sauteed in there. And just that's just to get all the flavors going. So I'm going to go ahead because I want my flavor uh, in the meat, potatoes. I already see so I want all that flavor going through that meat okay there it goes yum yum yummy this is smelling so good y'all I just can't even describe the, the uh, aroma that's coming off of there I'm gonna go ahead and add that other tablespoon of butter in there get that meat seasoned really good now you can use um, you can, you, know, you can buy turkey meat that's already seasoned. As a matter of fact, I use four turkey burger patties, and you know they're already seasoned. 
Uh, I had some ground turkey already in the freezer. It was such, such a big uh, amount. I didn't want to thaw out all that. So I figured, okay, just grab four turkey burgers. And I know they got all that already seasoned flavor going through them. And I'm doing this on high heat, y'all. So this is just one of those nice little, I'm going to taste that piece there. Yum, yum. Wow, that's good. This is one of those type meals that on Friday when you don't want to cook, you don't really feel like cooking, you didn't intend to cook, you just go in the kitchen and think of something that you can do right quick. And this was the quickest thing that I could think of. So I'm going to be eating uh, this really, really good, tasty turkey potato soup. It's going to be my dinner for today. And anybody else who comes by, guess what they're going to get? Same thing. And I think I got a little bit of chicken salad. If somebody wants a chicken salad sandwich or a grilled cheese sandwich or something like that, they'll certainly welcome to it. So I got that heat up on high right now, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the first four cups of chicken broth. Just pour it right in there. This is so much flavor because everything is seasoned. And you know, this is just a quick way to make this particular uh, dish because everything is already, you know, like pre-made. I didn't do any like from scratch per se. It's just a matter of putting these flavors together. Okay, so now I can transfer. For those of you who don't like to hear the sound of uh, metal on metal, I got my metal spatula out now, so I got my spoon in. So I'm gonna go ahead now and put the rest of that chicken broth in there. This, I need a taste of that to make sure if I need to add any salt to it. Now, that's good. That chicken broth is not salty at all. That's what I want to make sure of. If it had been salty, I would have backed off. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of that other four cups in. And I'm gonna have to add some water, obviously, because I've got uh, the meat in there, so I'm gonna need a little bit more broth in there. So, that's my eight cups of broth or liquid in there. And when it comes to a good rolling boil, I'm gonna add in that chicken potato soup, I'm sorry, the potato soup mix. And it's gonna cook, now the bag tells you to cook it, let's see, I believe it tells you to cook it for, bring to a boil with your wire whisk for 20 minutes now. Y'all know better than that. With me anyway. So it will taste like real good old fashioned potato soup. This will boil for me now. On my stove, it's going to be boiling for a good hour. So uh, it's going to be, so this is one of those meals that you can fix in about an hour and 15 minutes. Now if you want to, you know, try it for an hour, be my guest, but I guarantee you that the flavor that you get after cooking, because you want those potatoes, because you know these are dehydrated potatoes in that uh, mix, and those dehydrated potatoes take far longer to cook than one hour. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you it does. I, I've tried it before just to see, but I already knew better, but I tried it anyway. I tried it. Like I said, I tried it, but it just does not work well for me. I like, the, you know, the texture of those potatoes. Get my wire whisk going in there. That's going to be some yummy, yummy eating. And I, the reason, the other reason why I want to add more water, I like my potato soup thick, but I don't like it as thick as it's going to be if I don't add. I like it sort of a little bit soupy, so you know it's soup. So I'm going to add some uh, extra water in there because I got, remember I got uh, all the seasons are in there so I can add as much water and make it Thin it out some, in other words. So uh, while it's getting ready to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and put my teaspoon of uh, black pepper in there. That ought to be a teaspoonful. And just whisk it in. This is gonna be some good eating. I'm on a, um, I'm eating some, uh, a really a light diet today. Um, of a soft light diet so 
Okay. And remember, before you pour that mixture in there, make sure that that um, water, that ju that juice is just boiling really, really good to a rolling boil. Because if you pour it in there too soon, it's gonna lump on you. So as you can see, this is a one dish uh, meal today. And aside from that, as I said, I'll probably do crackers with mine because I'm not eating a whole lot today. Um, if I decided to do anything else, with the, this would be good with a nice salad or a grilled cheese sandwich, which I'm off the grilled cheese still. Um, have not had one since I went to my low to no carbs. And I'm still on that kick. This has carbs, yeah, but I've been cutting back, so I'm doing well. This has, um, yeah, I'm doing well. So I think I, I think I can have a few today. Wow, that smells so good, y'all. Wonderful food is just so wonderful. Hmm, that's gonna be so good with, with that potato soup and with that ground turkey in there. It's gonna be nice and hearty. Hmm. Yummy. Hang on one sec for me. Okay, y'all, I am back. Okay, you see how that water, that uh, broth is boiling? And now what you're going to do is to start pouring in your, you have to whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, pour it in there so it doesn't clump and lump up on you. There it goes. Now. all of that mixture in there and guess what i found when i went searching in my refrigerator y'all white potatoes fresh potatoes so and i don't want to add those potatoes in just yet add them in toward the end because i want those real chunks of real potatoes in there along with these dehydrated ones so i'm gonna lower the heat on this a little bit and let it continue to boil and this, like I said, this is going to boil for about 45 minutes. I think it'll be okay in about 45. Maybe not quite an hour. I'm going to drop those uh, fresh potatoes in there. And we're going to have us something good on our hands to eat for dinner. I'm so excited that I found potatoes. I thought I didn't have any potatoes. Uh, but I did. So, I am going to clean that up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and go off. For a minute and chop these potato dice these potatoes into little squares while that soup just continues to cook okay yes yes it's supposed to simmer it uncovered so i'm gonna leave it uncovered and just let everything cook up together there so i'm gonna go off like i say and do my potatoes i'm excited Okay, I am back. That potato soup looks good enough to eat that now. Just look at that. But we're not done yet because I haven't put my potato, my fresh potatoes in there. I've gone ahead and diced them and cut them. So the potato soup mixture has been cooking now for approximately 20 minutes. So that's cooked to the recipe. And again, like I said, the potatoes are not uh, as soft as I like them. So they're going to continue to cook anyway. So what I'm going to do now, I've got about uh, four cups of diced fresh potatoes. Let me just make sure. I can't get this one right for y'all. I'm just going to measure them in there to make sure. So if you ever want to make this pot of soup, just remember one pound of ground turkey or one pound of chicken or whatever meat you choose. So, you know, so if you can use chicken parts, chop it, kind of cut them up if you're going to use chicken, but if you're going to use ground turkey, I use one pound and a package of lunch shore or other, uh, cr other um, cream potato soup mix. It could be this brand. There are others. Bear Creek, I think, is one. This is a real good one, too. This just happened to be the one that was at the store when I was in there. So, a pound of ground turkey, a large onion, two stalks of celery, and a cup of carrots ground up. Okay, you saute the the, uh, the meat, the onions, the celery, 
and the carrots. You saute those together, get them all brown and, and sauteed up. Whatever seasoning you have now, if you have the uh, the chicken bouillon cube uh, dry mix, you can use that. If not, whatever seasoning, if you've got complete seasoning, you can use that. If you don't have either one, use salt and pepper, okay? That'll work because the uh, potato soup mix is very highly seasoned. Okay, once you get all of that mixed up and cooked together, then you're going to need about 10 cups of liquid. Now, I used 8 cups of chicken broth that you buy just right from the store. If you use fresh chicken and boil your own chicken, if you're using chicken, then you do it that way. Otherwise, if you're using the boxed, but according to this recipe, you just use 8 cups of chicken broth. Pour it in over that meat and uh, veggie. Make sure that you saute. Just pour it into the pan. And then you bring it to a rolling boil. Then you take your wire whisk and you put in that uh, soup mix. Just make sure you mix it really, really good so it doesn't clump up on you. And just begin to boil it. And then what I've discovered too is I got some, um, some nice potatoes here. So I've cut and diced. I'm going to see how many cups. I don't know how many. I was just going to dump them. But I, I'm going to tell you all exactly how many cups of diced raw potatoes fresh raw potatoes i'm so excited because i love potatoes that's two cups uh, i was about right four about four cups three cups about four and a fourth cups because that was like six potatoes i had in there so at least four cups of diced potatoes diced fresh potatoes and you just put them in stir them and now you got to keep this stirred now because remember it's creamy and it will stick on the bottom if you don't watch it okay the rest of the mixture was done so the potatoes because i want them chunky when i get ready to eat them go ahead and cook this for another 15 20 minutes or until the potatoes are nice and soft and so this is what it's going to look like in your bowl Woo, i'm so excited i may ever have to pour a little bit more water in there because you gotta have they gotta be able to to boil is, is the whole point so you see this is how thick that broth is but when you get your spoonful of that it's going to be like so and those potatoes will thicken it a little bit more uh as it cooks so we're going to go ahead and uh, walk away from this and let this pot cook and we're going to say all total time when we finish with this um probably a good hour because i'm not gonna you know we're not gonna be on here through the whole cooking process just while i'm putting it together so from where i am now it's got to cook another 20 minutes and we're right at 18 minutes so that's 38 so about 40 a good 45 minutes to do this particular dish okay so i'll be back and let this just cook okay Okay, y'all, I just had a little brainstorm with myself while I was waiting for the potatoes to finish cooking, and they're almost there, about another five or ten minutes. I had these veggies laying around in my um, refrigerator, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is slice, just lay them out here on the counter, and slice them as thin as you possibly can. This is just a yellow summer squash that I'm slicing here, and I'm just going to make a um, just a squash zucchini onion um and a greenhouse english cucumber just gonna slice them all thin just as thin as i can you know what i can do mine so much better faster and i mean if you can do this do this if not um put it on the counter for me it goes faster if i do it this way so that's my squash all sliced now, so I'm going to take this onion, I'm going to slice it this way because I'm not using a whole, this was a huge onion. So you need about a medium-sized onion to go in this mixture. So I had to cut a huge one in half, and I'm just slicing it through just like so. And I can slice it right on the counter like this. And just be careful, make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Be careful of your fingers. Just put the onion, and I had that one thick piece there. I need to cut it a little bit more. Just drop it in there. We're going to mix it all in together. So I need to turn that over and cut it like so. 
Now this, of course, you could eat it today, but tomorrow will be better because my marinade will be soaked through it better. I made this uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, I had tomatoes, and I don't have tomatoes today. Um, I, I, I used all my tomatoes. The other day, remember my salsa? I put all the tomatoes I had on here in my salsa. Now this is zucchini right here. I'm just slicing it. And you know what? I'm going to invest in one of those slicer things. I'm sure it'll go faster than my hands will. I don't know why I don't have one. It seemed like to me maybe I bought one and it malfunctioned. I took it back and I just didn't opt to uh, purchase another one. So anyway, this is just some, a little um, something that we'll eat throughout the weekend. I like this with uh, just by itself. If I get, you know, you get sort of hungry during the day. And want something in your mouth well, it's good to have something like this on hand and it goes well by itself or you know have a piece of I think I'm gonna try to do this now this is a English uh, greenhouse cucumber and I mean, if you notice I'm leaving the peel on let me make sure these are nice and tender because I don't like tough peels mm -hmm. good and crunchy the peel and all is good mm -hmm. I was just making sure, because I have bought these at times when the peel was tough. Mm. I think I might chop up some baby carrots and put in here. Just to give it a little bit of color. Y'all know me, it's about uh, taste and presentation. Listen, today is Friday, y'all. I'm almost forgetting. This week has whizzed by. I've had a few things going on. We haven't been able to do a lot of cooking this week. Um, so I had to pull back off a couple things. So I thought Friday, today, I want soup. And now I just decided I want this mixed up salad. I'm going to go to the fridge and get some um, nice carrots, some baby carrots. Throw in there. I'm going to get it mixed up. And we'll have this done in five minutes. Okay, I got my bag of baby carrots out here. You know what? I'm not going to use a lot of them. They're already uh, the real. They, they're kind of nice and small, like a little sort of in that hole. But I think I'm just going to split them right down the middle and do it that way. So you can do it just like so. Just cut them in half. Because I want the, the uh, marinade to be able to see how much difference that makes as far as what it looks like so we'll take an extra five minutes and go ahead and split these carrots because we want the we want the pretty flavor as well as the aesthetics we want the cosmetics and the aesthetics um see you don't have to cut a lot of carrots in there to get that color going so the thicker ones you know if i run across the thick if i get a real real thin one like that one i'll put it in there whole I just slice them in half like that because that marinade that I'm going to mix up to pour over here will go through the carrots just like it will the other uh, veggies. And we're going to have us a nice, nice, cool summer. This is something you can do year round, of course, if uh, your squash and your zucchini is in season wherever you live. Now, if not, you know, eat all you can while you can in the summertime. Um, I love fresh corn. Oh Lord, I love fresh corn. And I love to eat it raw in certain dishes like I put it in my kale salad. And I did not buy any. Otherwise, I was going to do kale salad today. But no corn, so I couldn't do the kale salad. And of course, you know you know the street corn. Uh, you can use the fresh corn in the street corn as well. So Summertime just brings so many wonderful veggies. Of course, I told y'all my favorite time of the year is Christmas because of the de decoration. I think decoration during Christmas holiday from, well, say from, the, uh, not that I celebrate um, Halloween at all, because I don't. I celebrate the fall time, and I like the fall colors and the decorativeness of fall. So, okay, so we need that little orange in there. Just to zhuzh it up a little bit. Okay, I believe that's enough uh, carrots in there. Get them off to the side, y'all. Okay, now 
all I've got to do with this, I'm going to mix it up real good, and then I'm going to put my um, marinade over it. And this is going to be pretty much like I did before the, the vinaigrette marinade that I put over it. It's nice. That's going to be yummy, y'all. Yeah, I don't know it. Look, when I made this the last time, the first time I uh, made this, this this summer, I had to do it again the very next couple of days because it all went so fast. I'm going to put this in a bigger bowl so, so I can get it mixed up better. And then I'll put it into a smaller container. Okay, big bowl, you're on. Where are you? Okay, we got to have the big silver mixing bowl. There it is. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just get my bowl out here. And I've got some balsamic vinaigrette by Food Line. I don't have the raspberry one this time, but I'm going to show you a little trick. Just put that much. I don't even have to put a lot. And the other day I was out, and I'm glad I did. I almost didn't. I went to Harris Teeter and I purchased my rice vinegar. Now the rice vinegar is an awesome salad dressing mix. I tell you, it's, it's awesome. So let's get it open here. There it is. Now this is about a fourth of a cup of that balsamic vinaigrette. And I'm gonna put another half cup of rice vinegar. It's not going to take all that much. You don't have to put that much in there to get it going. Let me see. I got another beat up wire whisk over here. One that Norik beat up real bad for me. Okay, that soup is wow. It's about there. Those potatoes, those fresh potatoes have cooked in really good. I'm going to get the camera back over here to show you in just a minute. And y'all know, whoever called me brown sugar baby you know it, so we're going to put us about, that's a good tablespoon of brown sugar in there. And I'm just going to give it a quiz there. And I got to get my other ingredients going in there. Okay. Um, get me a little teaspoon of uh, complete seasoning in there. move it back so you can see what I'm doing. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. And of course I got to get the rest of my vinegar, my um, brown sugar going. So hold on just a sec for me. Okay, I put a tablespoon of um, just a t another tablespoon of brown sugar in there. And um, just a sprinkle of salt. I'm going to taste that. Now that um, Rice vinegar is kind of tart, it's heavy, but it will do what I need done to this um, mixture here. That's great, y'all. Absolutely great. Without a doubt, it's great. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit my veggies with a little bit of uh, this coarse salt, like so to to break them down just a little bit. You know, salt will break down. Um, and we're just going to take our spatula and just mix it here, just like that. Make sure you get everything mixed in. Make sure I got enough onion going on in there. I might have to need to put me a little bit more onion. Uh, by the way, these are sweet Vidalia onions, so they're not strong onions. So I'm going to put a little fourth of, of no, I'm sorry, I'm going to put three-fourths of a large onion is what I've got. So all I need to do here, I don't want to over-onion it, if that's a word. So I'm going to get another fourth of a, uh, that large onion, and I'm just going to put it right there, slice into it and get it ready to go in there with the rest of it and I think we'll be okay because you you definitely want that onion flavor in there because if it stays around long enough 
these flavors will go through. It might not go as fast as they can. Nobody's here right now but Tansy and I. And I think she's down. She, I know she's downstairs, so. Kareem doesn't eat it, so. You know, if it goes over to Sunday dinner, it'll go then. But it'll be in the fridge now for a little bit. She and I will eat off of it. So, now, the uh, veggies are ready to receive um, the dressing. I was going to put a little bit of um, just a dash of oil. The oil kind of helps it to hang on, but I didn't last time. I didn't really have to. So I think this is about one cup of dressing. One cup of dressing. Let me just be sure for y'all. Might be a little bit over. exactly one cup that's what i thought it would be one cup so we got one cup of dressing just pour it over like so and i'm sure that's a gracious plenty that's what my mom used to say a gracious plenty i'm sure that's a gracious plenty. so see that's that's plenty of dressing in the bottom so what we're going to do is put it in a container and you will turn that container upside down upside down a few times until everything gets marinated properly Okay, just toss it real good. Smells so good, y'all. And this is going to be good when everything gets soaked into those veggies. And it will literally soak into the veggies. And then those veggies will take on that flavor. And then it will just blend in with, uh, you know, its, it's own natural flavor. Mm, that's good. I'm going to taste it one more time to make sure. I think that's good. I think it's going to be okay. 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 And if you don't want to mix, make your own mixture, real simple. Buy some balsamic vinaigrette, um, raspberry vinaigrette, whatever, any kind. And just throw it right on there. And let it sit and marinate for a while. The main ingredient here, of course, is your uh, different veggies. Your summer veggies. Okay. So, that is done. So, we're going to turn over here to the soup and see what's happening. Okay, y'all. It is soup. The soup. And remember, as you're cooking the soup, you have to continually stir. Remember I told you in the very beginning because it will stick to the pan. It's going to stick some, but you don't want it to the, stick to the point of burning or scorching because we don't want that taste in our soup. So there it is, that nice, thick, rich, rich turkey potato soup. And I did, like I said, I added um, four cups of fresh potatoes to that mixture. So, if you feel brave enough, or if you feel like running to the store, if you don't already have it, just run out to the store and purchase you a package of uh, either Bear Creek or Shore Lunch potato soup mix, a pound of ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want to put in there, or chopped up uh, chicken or turkey, whatever meat you want to use in there is up to you. Round you up some... Uh, a whole onion, a whole large onion, medium onion, I'm oh, sorry, a whole large onion, two large stalks of celery, saute it with the meat, pour in 10 cups of liquid, um, preferably chicken broth, 8 to 10 cups of chicken broth, and a couple cups of water if you want to uh, alternate, you know, if you want to just add in, and just bring it to a rolling boil, and then add in your soup mixture. Cook it for the 20 minutes like it tells you on the pack. And then dice you up some fresh potato, uh, four cups of uh, fresh potatoes. Put them in there and cook them for another 20, 30 minutes. I, I've cooked mine. Mine is cooked beyond the normal time. But I cook so at the 25 to 30 minute mark, the potatoes will be done. Because you know you got white potatoes and you got Idaho potatoes. So they cook at a different pace. So the soup is ready. I've got the salad going over here on the side, so we got this Friday evening meal ready to put on the table, y'all. Hope y'all are having a God-blessed Friday. 
if it ain't, you know, uh, Friday ain't always fish day. So we don't always have to do fish on Friday. Today is soup Friday. And you know what? It's not a real hot day today, so I'm excited about that because I had a taste for this soup. And it's all ready. And it was real simple. Mmm. I even got me a big old pan of cut up veggies with a vinaigrette dressing on it. So, without further delay, we about ready to sit down and relax and enjoy this meal. Okay, y'all, dinner is served on my left. That good old ground turkey potato soup. Of course, those are the dishes we're going to eat it off of. That little bowl there is going to hold my salad over here to my far right. So there's that good old squash, zucchini, English cucumber, and carrot salad drenched in some balsamic vinaigrette and rice vinegar with, you know, brown sugar. And, of course, back there is the captain's wafer. So this is one of those quick, fast, and easy Friday evening dinners that I wasn't intending to cook, didn't feel like cooking, but I ended up cooking anyway because I had a taste for something in particular. So look, y'all, thank y'all for coming, hanging out for me, with me for a few minutes. Thank y'all for encouraging me. Thank y'all for your kind words. And thank y'all for continuing to pray with me. So listen, y'all, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And until I cook again, probably on the flavor train on Sunday, I'm going to say toodaloo. Go in the kitchen and find yourself something good to eat for this Friday evening. And I'll see y'all Sunday. Love you. Toodaloo.